being involved in the uh, business, you uh, had a Pennsylvania license, state of Pennsylvania, you need a wrestling license to run shows. Um, I guess probably one of your favorite moments was the uh, Angel ran the rock and wrestling show. Oh, geez. Go over that show. That was the, uh, I tell people about this, they do not believe it happened, but for the three or four hundred people who were there that had seen it, there's a tape floating around somewhere, I got to get off a guy named uh, Jim Morianus. He's has a, he's do a lot of taping for wrestling. Well, Cosmic Commander calls up and asks me if he can use my license to an angel doing a show at the Northern Liberties Red Center. So I figured, what the hell, based on the track record there, I probably have 15, 20 people. Well, I pull up to the place. I see motorcycles outside, uh, fucking... I could not believe what I seen when I went inside. The place was packed. I mean, it was packed with bikers, skinheads, Nazis, punk rockers. If you took the 350 people in there that night, and you put them on a football field, and you had them take on the entire ECW arena, you know, which is like one big, uh, you know, one, one big accumulation of welfare recipients, and you had them have a fight, these guys would have kicked 1,500 people's asses. I mean, they were nuts. Matter of fact, that was outside. They actually broke a tree that was planted in the ground, they actually broke these bikers. Well, they're outside drinking beer, that they had in the core. And the show's getting ready to start, and there's a sign on the door, no beer, no drugs, no whatever. So they started learning the core back up. Parents says, fellas, I says, uh, I'm the promoter here, so you can't bring alcohol in the, in the building. And he says, well, how about I take every one of these bottles and start showing them up your fucking ass? I said, well, enjoy the show. You know? <laughs> so I went inside, and uh, I could not believe it was like going into fucking hell. Uh, they had punk rock and wrestling. The funny part was the Cosmic Commander, when he come out to his match, he managed this little blonde haired guy who'd done a fag gimmick, that if you had shut your eyes, you would think Hulk Hogan entered the building. I mean, I never heard anybody with a bigger pop in my life. I don't know if anybody remembers that. But it was just the craziest thing ever in my life I heard. There's a guy up on stage, and I tell people the story, do not believe it. His hair, was dyed like this fluorescent fucking red color. And he had his underarm hair dyed, dyed the same way. Well, he's standing there singing, and all of a sudden he drops his pants. And the hair on his nuts was the same color as the hair on his head and his shoulders. And I couldn't believe it. I said, this guy's a fucking freak. Well, that's all, you know. I was like, even I was amazed and shocked. I mean, I couldn't believe this was going on. All of a sudden, while he's singing, some guy gets up on the stage and starts blowing him right on the stage. This was in between the wrestling matches. And I'm looking, and I see this isn't happening. It's probably like a flashback or some shit. Then a girl comes up on the stage, and her head's shaving all the way around in a circle. And she's got a crown of thorns tattooed, where her head was shaved. She takes off her clothes. Lays down on stage, and another girl jumps up on stage and naked, and they start eating each other, for lack of a better term. I just could not believe it. it was the biggest freak show. And all of a sudden, at the end of the night, I grabbed my kid and I said, Let's get the hell out of here. We go outside, we sit across the street in my car. There's these 40 riot police cars pulled up, and they went inside. It's the biggest riot broke out ever. Luckily, only one kid got hurt and wasn't serious. But I mean, it was the biggest fight and brawl. And, and as a matter of fact, Jim Morianis, who's filming the event, I gotta get the tape on him sometime. They actually went up, and he's, he's harmless as a fly. I mean, he just sits there, he don't bother anybody. They actually beat the shit out of him and bust up some of his equipment. That's how crazy it was. It was just the most wildest thing I've ever seen. That was like the biggest show Angel ever done on the Cosmic Command. Incredible. What are some fond memories of uh, Angel that you have? I, I knew Angel since she was a little kid. Um, Angel's a, Angel's an Angel. She's just, you know, I like her a lot. She's, I mean, down to earth, she's a great girl. Uh, like when my mother passed away, she called me up and uh, talked to me. And uh, I always liked Angel. She's just, me and her, 
uh, had had um, controversy, but we've always remained friends. You know, she her, her heart was always in the right place, but her mind wasn't in us. There's probably a zillion stories out there you can tell about her, but you know, leave where they're 